my plan is to get a spin in this afternoon but we got uh, more breeze than I expected can't really tell it here but it's blowing out of the northwest I don't know how much and the temperature of course we've been in record breaking temperatures the last couple of days at 80 80 yesterday I think that's some kind of record but if it's only 60 today but it ain't bad you know what I mean it's just not like I like it was we'll see how it goes I got a lot to do but I think I can get it done it's like 9 15 now I'm gonna get started a lot more blades and knives and big axe I've been wanting to try this I watched a guy on YouTube clean an axe up not sharpen it but clean it up now this was really really in really good shape for a lot of axes that you pick up this guy used the air power die grinder I don't have one of those but he used these uh, flapper wheels from Norton on merit uh, they come in different grits like anything else this is a two inch wide 60 grit I'm gonna start with that I may give it a spin on the 80 grit which is one inch wide then I have a 180 grit, which is one inch wide, and then I have a 320 grit, it's two inches wide. And you see the RPMs are like 1200 on all of them, 20,000 on that one, which you can get from a dock grinder, air powered. We'll see how it goes. If not, we'll go to our wheel, you know how our wheels work. I think this will be okay for this axe right here though. That's about four minutes with the uh, 60 grit. That's about uh, 30 passes with 30, 36 grit. And it's got a nice burr on the other side. So we're going to make this side. We're going to make this side match this side. 36 grit Norton. Now we finishing it off on this uh, 3M blending belt. This is a brand new belt. It's a uh, fine. It's a little bit coarser than the ones after it gets broke in. But I needed to break it in, so I'm using it on this fine axe. And you can see, it's done a great job of getting rid of most of those really deep, heavy scratches from that. 36 inch grit belt. I mean 36 grit. And you could stop right here with it because it's really sharp. But I'm going to refine it just a little bit further. We'll see how it does. I gave it three passes on the uh, 150 grit, six passes on the 220 grit. Then a quick pass or two on the leather. She's bad. Bad with a big B. Okay. Well, I finished all the lawnmower blades up. There are the two uh, ones from last year. And there's two, he calls them handhelds. I don't know what he means by that. 
this was a kitchen knife that he had and then he brought me three sets of doubles brand spanking new he wanted them razor sharp I agree with him a lot of people don't like them that way but they, they do a nice job if you got nice lawns and no rocks and no dust and no holes they cut the grass nice don't pull it just don't tear it just cut it I don't know how many lawn mowers you got but I know he's got a lot of blades I'll give you the name to his company in a minute when I get inside. And of course I got the axe finished. I gotta call a guy and tell him to pick that up in a minute. So all I got left to do now is those four knives that came in the package yesterday. And of course I don't know what time it is. Let's see what my communicator says. 126. That's later than I thought. Stand by. <coughs> The guru call said that he wanted to go detecting. He got his battery all charged up. He got his wire fixed yesterday. I don't think it's uh, fit to go today. I'm going to ride over here and take a look at it as I take this big old axe back to the guy. He lives about six or seven minutes from the bay here where I live. I'll ride down on that street where I normally go and see what it looks like. Stand by just a minute. All these flashing lights here in the middle of the street mean a red truck with cones on it. What the hell is that thing? A cable truck. That takes care of that plan. We were just outside playing bar, ball before it got dark. And I happened to notice all this warm weather. I got some buds on my little old fig tree. Look at them. The first of the year. March the second. Or third or whatever the day is. Second, I think. Look at them. I'll have some figs in July, maybe. <laughs> it's got a long ways to go, though. So you look like a skeleton tree. Indian. What are you doing, big Indian? You big Indian. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. There's Big O' Jack. He said, I'm tired. Let's go inside. Come on, Big O' Jack. 